So this model, this heart model you've seen before when we talked about the heart, and I even did talk some about the blood vessels, but this is going to be a specific uh, lecture on the blood vessels. So externally, we can see uh, some arteries and veins here kind of spider webbing, spider webbing across the, the heart. These are the coronary arteries and coronary veins. Uh, the left side, left coronary arteries down in here and the right coronary arteries over here. And they branch into some other arteries, but we're not going to get into those. When, when these blue ones then are the coronary veins bringing blood back from the heart. So the coronary circulation provides the heart muscle with its own oxygen. It's too big of a muscle that it wouldn't be able to get uh, oxygen from the, the blood that it's pumping back and forth. So it has to pump blood to itself. Uh, also externally, you can see a big blue uh, vessel right here. Now this, bl this blood vessel is a pulmonary artery. So it's blue, so you might think vein, but as I discussed, uh, arteries mean it goes away. So this is going away from the heart to the lungs. This is technically, this structure is called the pulmonary trunk. Uh, it branches into its respective pulmonary arteries um, back here. But uh, I'll show you that in a minute. You don't have to see that yet. Uh, so let's remove the front of this heart here. Uh, now we see this is still that pulmonary trunk right here. Now we see the other, the origin of the other very large blood vessel that leaves the heart. This is the aorta. Uh, just after this, <clears throat> this aortic semilunar valve, which is right here, you enter the blood enters the aorta, and this is going to take blood to the to the whole body, the head and shoulders and arms and legs and so on. And you can see this is the point, these are the points of origin of those coronary arteries. So this is the right, uh, sorry, left coronary artery, right coronary artery. I hope I said those right the last time, pretty sure. So the aorta, um, technically this would be the ascending aorta going up. This is the aortic arch coming over like this. And then it would turn into the descending or thoracic aorta in, in back. But let's look at a couple of these branch vessels off of the uh, aorta. The first one that comes off, this guy right here is called the brachiocephalic trunk. Now it's kind of a big name there, but brachio means arm and cephalic means head. So this is the brachiocephalic trunk and it's gonna branch off away from this model into some other blood vessels, into the, uh, the right common carotid and the right subclavian, but you can't see those here. This blood vessel is the left common carotid artery. So this left common carotid artery goes up to the left side of the neck and it supplies the, the brain and the face. This blood vessel right here is the left subclavian. Now the word subclavian means below the clavicle. So this is a blood vessel that goes off and passes uh, across your chest towards your arm, ultimately becoming an axillary uh, uh, artery and brachial and so on. And then the, the aorta would continue. Let's look at some of the vessels that return blood to the heart. So the pulmonary trunk and the aorta take blood away to the heart and to the body. I'm sorry, to the lungs for oxygenation and to the body. Let's look at the guys that bring blood back to the heart. We remember this big blue vessel here and it's uh, opposite number down here. I've got my fingers in these two vessels, basically. Uh, this vessel that goes superior to the heart is the superior vena cava. So this vena cava is bringing blood back from the head and shoulders to the, uh, to the right atrium. And the inferior vena cava down here brings blood from the you know, abdomen and legs back to the right atrium. So they both dump into this right atrium, uh, which we learned about in a previous chapter. So let's flip it over here. So now I'm looking at the posterior aspect of the heart. Uh, we still see these vena cavae right here, but now we want to look at some of these vessels right, right here. This, these blue ones, these are continuations of that, uh, that pulmonary trunk. So these are the pulmonary arteries uh, from the back of the heart. The red vessels right here, there's four of them, are the pulmonary veins which are returning the blood from the lungs to the heart. So these uh, four pulmonary veins are red, indicating that they're oxygenated. 
but they are veins and they are bringing that blood back to the heart. So let's flip over here and see where they represent those uh, pulmonary veins entering. So down in this left atrium, you can see, whoops, there goes my stick. Aha. You can see these little black dots right here. Can you see those? There should be four of them all together. One, two, three, four. Those are just representing the spots where the, uh, the pulmonary uh, uh, veins return the blood to the heart. Okay, that's it.